There we go. Hope they believe I actually only have a five thousand fleet. In fact, I'm going at them with a four point eight, and I have a six thousand sitting in reserve. Construction complete. Are you guys together? The Fist of Mordred is my actual named fleet who's going in. They have a level 5 admiral. Okay, so Najlak's swarm has arrived. System survey complete. Mm -hmm. No, where are you? Don't, don't port anywhere. Wait. Did I send the wrong fleet in? Where did the fleet go? Okay, I see some of them. They've got 2.9 here. I'm going to guess you don't need backup. No, we'll wait and see what they uh, bring, though. Yeah. Right, I'm jumping to Zani Nad. Yeah, it doesn't take too long for me to jump either, with only half the fleet going at a time. Hostile fleet engaged. And I jump in on top of the starbase. Cool. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Well, whatever it was that caused me to warp into the middle of their system died straight away. Alright, they have a 6,000 strong fleet here, which should be just fine. I'm going to warp in my reserves. Where's the 6,000? Uh, Zani Nadid. But it's fine, I've, I've got this. I'm going to hit them with my 10. Okay, tell me if you do need backup. I think they have fallen for my bait. There we go, my six okay, just they've arrived. They've got 8.9 going in to you. Okay. Situation log updated. They're running. Jump, Station jump, jump, jump in as well. Hostile oh. fleet engaged. Shouldn't need to. Research complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Are you sure? Oh yes, now there. I will. Now I will. There's yeah. a fleet moving towards... Yeah, they have. Oh, Mord Mordred, come to me, maybe. I'll... Just a teeny tiny little fleet moving around. What the hell is... I'm already tied into a fight with someone. Who's this? Oh, because of extended ranges means I'm already tied in. You're going to have to That's come to your me. That's your ally. Situation okay, I'm coming. Updated. Like, who's this teeny tiny fleet? It's your complete. ally. <laughs> the vassal. Who's Vassal Mine? Hostile fleet engaged. Um, no. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation um, log updated. I'm tied up against this station at the moment. Okay. Hopefully my 6,000 don't take too long to arrive. Because my small fleet is being pounded. <laughs> they have very just... heavy shields. Wow, they have very heavy shields. Where are you guys fighting right now? Zanid Nadid, so if you want to join us, more than welcome. It's the uh, their vassal's capital system. It's going to take me a while to get there, yes. Ah, okay, they're using carriers. This fleet's this. Kadraziri are torpedoes and carriers, it looks like. Hostile fleet engaged. 
tuna is torpedoes. No, he's missiles. So the torpedoes I'm not too worried about because they ignore shields and I have no shields. I'm fully armor. What's my weapon again? I think I'm cannon. Yeah, coil guns. Point defense. So in fact, my point in defense should be doing an absolute number on all of their missile stuff, because they have a lot of missiles. I don't think I have any point defense on my ships. Um, okay. Alright, so Okay, I'm now I'm on my way. Both of my fleets are now engaged. And we're starting to do some damage. Oh, quite a lot of damage. Did I add disruptors? I don't remember. No, I do not have disruptors. So I'm going to struggle with shields. Oh no, I'm not. Auto cannons do bonus damage to shields. <laughs> My fleet is tanking like a boss. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, I finished the technology. How are you doing that Hostile fight, Morgan? Are you falling apart? Uh, my forward fleet is. My second fleet is about to hit. Hopefully this doesn't mean I'm going to lose my Admiral. Have you actually joined? You haven't. Right, can I... Mine's on my on the way. Right, I need a leader. I need it now. Fourteen destroyers left in that front fleet. It's okay because um, magic card's going to be there in a second, and, and I'll be there not long after. Cool. For God's sake. Withdraw you. Situation log updated. And you. I'm going to jump in again because you are my admiral, and I need an admiral. I just showed up. You did? Excellent. Their fleets are actually really well coordinated. Or well, you need Hostile me to attack, just... Detected. Just jump in. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the galaxy, you have finished your job. And that would be a magnificent spot for a wormhole, I believe. Oh, I'm just waiting for my ships. Had that little bit of a cool down after you do the jumps. Oh, they're battleships. No wonder they're pounding me. Oh, they have actual battleships, don't they? Yeah, already built. I'm jumping in. Cool. Okay, my Admiral is coming back in. That will mean I'll have a leader in the fight again. And he's a really good Admiral. Level 5, that means he gets plus 25% fire rate, plus he's aggressive, which is another 10% fire rate. 
and he's an engineer, so my hull's regenerate. Small transport fleet. In their, in the vassal's second, second area. This gate. I'm taking the most damage from their energy weapons. Their rockets are quite frankly useless. And their auto cannons are fairly effective, but it's their lasers by far. So if you have something which can counter lasers for your ships, that would probably be the way to go. Actually, I have to look at my ships. Yeah, I have like medium shields, I think at best. They have another small army coming through. Hostile fleet engaged. Maybe I should. I still have nine cruisers in the fight. They've destroyed most of my corvettes, which is very annoying because it's the corvettes with the um, anti rockets. I'm going to have to bug out. I'm taking too many hits here. I'm off. This is going to be tight. If you're bugging out, uh, Mordred, you might need to come back. Updated. Just get some repairs done and come straight back in. Yeah, I intend to. I hope you have a good April. Okay. You lot merge together, first of all. So am I coming straight back? I'll come straight yeah, back. Yeah, I think so. That's fine. We have, what, 13 in the fight? And they have 9. I think they might even have a little bit more than us. Yeah, they do. Yeah, Tuna's fleet is tanky as hell. Like, really hard. Yeah, more than half of the defenses are shields. So if you have torpedoes, equip them. Oh, shoot. I don't have torpedoes, I have like plasma blast. Yeah, I'm lasers as well. back. Six cruisers, eleven destroyers. See what we can do. All quiet on the eastern front. Well, judging by the um, winning victory bar thing, we're stomping them. We are throwing everything at them, though. True. 
but I'm pretty sure they're throwing everything at us. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Indeed. This has highlighted some rather disturbing lack of... Tuna has a four-star um, general. Yeah, my four five-star is about to come back in. And I reckon that once Tuna's fleet's down, then we'll be able to side through Ethan. Um, um, I guess the guys at the top are starting something. Oh, it's rivalries. Yeah, it's just rivalries. I think they're going to try and clean up the uh, small guys. Pithok Union broke off non aggression with Death of Dominion. I want us to go to war with the Pithok um, pretty much straight after this. Alright. Oh, yeah, you guys are annihilating Tuna's fleet. Nicely done. Well, I'm mostly plasma weaponry, and I think he's all laser. He's all shields. They're both all shields. Yeah. I was expecting my fleet to be more tank. Actually, they were fairly tanky. They did last a while. I mean, this is working for me. Magic is uh, <laughs> flying in front of me, just being a big screen. I'm not taking any losses at the moment. but I'm I know, I'm taking most of the losses, but I don't mind it, since I probably have... Well, no, maybe you have pretty good shields, don't you? Fleet I'm not sure about your shield ability. Oh, right, yes. Oh, no, I do have Crystal Forge plating. My ships should have been a lot tougher than they were. Well, my big ships are way tougher. It's the small ships that are kind of crap, so I just need more big ships. Yeah, so I have medium shield, so I'm not too... I have Crystal Forge plating, which increases ship hull points. Then I have tier 2 armor plating and tier 2 weaponry. I think part of the problem is I'm all call guns because I've not researched any other weapons. Okay, let's start gearing up to invade these planets so that we're ready. Yep, I'll send in the transports. I've got my transports ready to jump into the other one, so once this battle's done I'm going to take my fleet over there and start bombarding. Okay. Well, well done if guys. We've definitely turn the tide of this. I think the key there was that we kept them fighting so they did not have a chance to recharge their shields. If Magic and Mordred stay in Zani Nadi, because um, combined you're going to be, uh, what, 8k or so, and I've got a, a 7k because I haven't really taken any losses from that. So yeah, go we, to can, we can start, um, we can hit them actually too. Oh, there they go. All right, they bugged out, as I expected them to. I think he had four battleships left and that was it. And I am quite rapidly rearming. I have a. I'm building crew, um, cruisers right now. I got like four of them done. I don't yeah. have the extreme speed at them. Yeah. That makes. So they all ran? They took off? They took off. The um, cruisers wait. do have some point defense. Do we chase or just hold out right here? No, we're going to hold out here. If you guys hold in Zani Nadi and I'm going to go to Accubance. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see them try and like annoy us by sort of doing hit and runs on our random complete. systems. And there we go, with one. Ah, okay, cool. Excellent. Well done, guys. Well done. All right, shall we rejoin the main channel? Yeah, let's get back to the main channel. Okay. Channel switched. User was moved to your user channel. Was and we are back. back. Hello. Welcome back. That hey. Was quick, that was a quick one. Yeah, it was fun. That was a lot of fun. You had me seriously worried. Yeah, your army sucked, man. Yeah, we were quite surprised about that. Yep. <laughs> it was good. It took all three of you to take us down. <laughs> but we did. Just about, yeah. But yes, it has highlighted some serious weaknesses in my fleet. <laughs> yeah. The fact that all three of you use only lasers. Not, not very clever. I'm uh, actually plasma, but I had uh, only um, auto cannons. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, you. Were, yeah, yeah. Um, there, were, were, there was, a, there was a mixture still. There was a little bit of a mixture. Yeah. 
but yes, I'm, I'm glad we did that because I, I know a lot more about what I what direction I need to go in now. I have an idea of what I want to do with my fleet now too. What the hell? This bandit. <laughs> <laughs> this planet that I've just taken has a minus 12 food. What the hell yeah, are these guys doing? <laughs> yeah, the other one's got minus 4. <laughs> yeah, have fun with that guys. <laughs> That's a good These one. guys it? suck. It was, our plan. it was our plan all along. That's why we didn't want anything to really do with them. We just said, hey, you can be our vassal. It's all good, guys. <laughs> How can I choose different uh, ship designs to upgrade? I can't tell what they need to upgrade into. Oh, like if you make a new one? I yeah. do not know. I think it just goes to the latest one you've done. <coughs> yeah. yeah. What? You can only have... Oh. You can make more than one style of battleship or cruiser, but I don't think you can pick how it upgrades, right? It'll only upgrade to something of the same name? Yeah. So you only yes. have... It's a bit of a shame because if you do like variations of it, it, it I'm, I don't know how it knows which one to pick. Uh, it seems it doesn't. It picks the one that the, the same style that it was built as. Yeah, like same weapon types and stuff. Or... So, what's the point of making a new design then? Just change the one you have. No, because you could have two designs and you could build one of each design, and then as you upgrade that design, it stays with whatever that design was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in the same. Oh, tree. you have to build it. Yeah, you also, have to build it. That's a, that's a thing. I have to thank you guys because I don't know what you did. But oh no, I know what you did. Never mind. No, you have to tell the rest of us now. Yeah. No, it's all good. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I didn't realize it until I looked right afterwards. I'm like, oh, why am I making so many more minerals? I'm like, oh wait, that's because I'm maintaining less ships now. Yeah, because I don't have a yeah. fleet anymore. Perfect. You're welcome. <laughs> anytime. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime to destroy your ships. <laughs> I'm gonna start integrating my new subjects. <laughs> Integrating in like, inverted like commas. <laughs> yeah, like Stalin. <laughs> oh, God. That, that, uh, that fight was uh, quite a fun one to behold, though. It was. Yes. I was expecting my fleet to be much more tanky than they were. I wasn't expecting them to do much damage. <laughs> I was kind of surprised when Martin start, um, started going, wait, wait, I'm, I'm losing. I'm losing. <laughs> because your previous fights are uh, so uh, become overwhelming. Yeah, probably. I'm used to using overwhelming force. We were confident when it was just Mordred's two fleets. And then when Tom's fleet came in, still confident. And then when magic yeah. stacked on top of that, it was... It was pretty yeah. much over. Yeah, I was waiting to I was waiting to see what you had, Magic, because I, I hadn't seen it prior and the once I saw it over there, I'm like, oh, okay. Figured that would be the case. Um mine is like pretty much a balance of shields and plasma weaponry. Yeah. Don't tell them too much. <laughs> yeah. We still got Pussy and Isra listening in here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> wink wink. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, that, that was a really good fight. I enjoyed that. This I was gonna say something really simple, but I've gotten what. Construction complete. Yeah, in about a year, I will probably have the strongest fleet. Valid. And then you can finally attack I, Isle. I, I think I already have it, but... And you can finally attack somebody. It'd be the thing. I just won't, come in. He won't keep the strongest fleet for long. No, he won't. No, because I'm about to overtake him. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I guess I get to have fun and re-overhaul or overhaul some uh, <coughs> planets. 
All my energy income's just analyzed. shot through the roof. <laughs> yeah, mine's back in the positive. Quite surprised. <coughs> I, I have sectors. What the heck are they doing right now? We just spent a little interlude sorting out our planets. <laughs> oh, interesting. Right, so this sector's doing something. Well, I'm about to get a whole bunch of nice science from this, so thank you. Yeah, oh yeah, there's actually. plenty of fun stuff. And that reminds me, I also need to survey my new system. Oh? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you've never been there before. I had been there, but I hadn't sur surveyed it. Ah. You don't go. mind if I do some science in there too, right? <laughs> it's all free access to everyone now. Uh. Wow, really? Already? Yes. We're going to have to go back in our channel again. <laughs> <laughs> Another war? Uh, yeah. So, see you in a bit. <laughs> Who did you guys? attack this time? Oh, that's tiny. There's just what? really tiny little nation. Channel created. User joined your channel. User was moved to your channel. There we go. I couldn't be bothered to type out the full name, so I just called this us. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. And now what? Now <laughs> we're attacking another person. Uh, yeah, Democratic Pithok Union. They are oh, the... south. No, they are southeast of you. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, the, we were at war with them before. I can't actually reach their capital, so. This is going to be down to you two. That's cool. I got this. Construction complete. You got this. I can help. Uh, I mean, I still... we should be overwhelming for them. I'll build a wormhole, but it will take a minute. I'll send my fleet into that spot. So, I'll meet you at Artipis. I'm just going straight into Odlamon. Oh, right to their capital. I'll meet there you there have then. One system. Debris analyzed. Ah, more debris. Marvelous. What, do I get? what do you guys think about um, bringing the Jetma Dominion into our alliance and then feder making a federation? I would be totally down for that. I, I was would also totally tempted. be down for that too, since you're just neighbors complete. and me too. Carrier operation shields plus thirty percent. Wow, I'm getting so much science from these guys from that fight. Yeah, I got tons as well. What were you going to say about um, Federation, though? Uh, I would love a Federation. <laughs> yeah, I'm down with it. I don't think it's a little bit more war, Makes us a little bit more scary. Not that we aren't already scary enough. Although, if Igel and Bussy allied and the TFL and Kadraziri came against us, then I think we would struggle. Yeah, we'd be in a world of hurt there. I'm afraid of being surrounded too. That's the, the other with... choice, of course, would be for us to become more friendly with the um, the CDL, the Central Delicious League. True. I mean, my only territorial claim was the vassal. After that, I don't really care. 
Yeah, I also don't care about them. Um, I kind of prefer them to be more friendly to us because you and I um, are blocking them in. Yes. True. I need to keep an eye on that fallen nation as well. Fallen yes. Empire. They're going to be at minus 67 relations with me when the embassy runs out. And the threshold is minus 75 for war. Yeah, I'm kind of getting kind of nervous with Bussy reaching around. Yes. Uh, one thing... Can we do guarantees? No. We could still guarantee that. Well, we could do an ultimatum. Like, if you declare war with Jack Scavaz, for example, then we will declare war on you. So it's a verbal guarantee. Much like we did in um, Twilight Imperium, Tom. Yeah. Which ones are Jack's Gavaz? They're the ones just north of uh, Magic. They're actually oh, my rival. Guys. But, I mean, I would say that we verbally guarantee Oba and Jack's Gavaz. Uh, I, I think that that's gaming it slightly because they're my rivals, so I can't, you know, uh, guarantee them and also rival them. Well, you can. It just means that we have intentions of going after them. I mean, they can choose to ignore us. It's, it's not a game mechanic thing. It's just saying that these guys are in our sphere of influence. If you expand into this, then that's a declaration of war, essentially. What are we doing about the TFL and the Chedraziri? Because we kind of need to make a decision on that. Like either the, we want to contain them or we want to go to war with them or we want to you know, try and bring them into the fold. I really don't mind. What would you, be your I, preference? I'd rather have them allies. In any case. If it comes down to it, vassals worked. Yeah, I mean... The one downside to that is then it would be, what, four, no, five players versus essentially two. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we would be creating like a super block. Apparently, I've just met Smoker Confederation. Really? He's had them break off again? Crikey. <laughs> is, he hasn't, has he... He's been struggling this whole entire game. Yeah. Oh. 